Hi everyone, this is going to be a series of videos about using the TK Inter or Kinter GUI within Python. To start with, first of all, we need to import the function TK Inter. To do this, we do a TK Inter import asterisk. What that's going to do is it's going to import all of the functionalities of the GUI TK Inter. Second of all, we're going to have a variable, and I'm just going to call this window and assign it to the value of TK. And that tells Python that we want to run TK. Okay? Next part, we're going to assign the size of my window by using the window.geometry. Now, obviously, if you've decided to change the name of your variable for equals tk, you would then obviously label this a different name. So, to start with, I'm just going to use 400 by 400. Also, please note that obviously we've used the speech marks around the width and the height of the window. Next thing, I'm going to put the window dot title it and again I'm just going to label this using speech marks okay so the window dot title will be the name of the window when we run it and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a label and again we have to start with giving it a variable name so this could be anything you want so for example you could have that as welcome if that's what you would like your label to say but for this I'm just going to do text equals Welcome to my first GUI in Python. Okay. Remember to use your closing brackets. I'm then going to place the label. So I'm going to use label.place and this time I'm going to use the X and Y axes. So I'm going to just do that. Label.place X equals Y, Y equals 20. Next, we're going to insert a text box or an entry box. Here, yeah, but obviously they are text boxes which we enter data. But in Python, they are called entry boxes. So we're going to use again my variable name is text box one. That could be anything you would like it to be. So, for example, if somebody was typing in a username, call that the variable username. Next, I'm then going to use entry and then text equals speech marks which is black because I don't want anything to appear in my text box and then I'm going to have text box one dot place so again I'm going to sign where I want my text box to appear in my window so I'm going to use x equals 160 y equals 120 and this time I'm going to tell it height and the width of my text box yeah, so although I've gave it, tell it, told it, sorry, what values I want inside of the text box here, I need to tell it the height and the width of the text box as well as the location. And then I'm going to do window.main loop. Now, remember, you may have changed a different, <coughs> sorry, you may have used a different variable name for your window, but I have used window. Now, once you are ready, save it. Um, first GUI, run this, okay, now I believe that that is because I have a space between my geometry size, we go. As you can see we have a window which has the title of example, a label and a text box.